Alright, K K K K Kellogg's on Kellogg Co on the New York Stock Exchange. Got an alert for this one. And here is the monthly candle chart. Why why did I get an alert? Sometimes I said alerts so many. I just forget why chart morphs, candles are added, and I just have to relook at it. All right, let's start. Monthly defined breakdown line seems to be here, 58.85, just a little lower. Where is that? Do, 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 do. Open 58.80, yeah, 58.85. Monthly defined breakout. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? That is June. So look at that, guys. Monthly defined breakout. Isn't that pretty? Measure move, added to breakout line. Brings us all the way back up here to the 77 level. Is there, am I reading this wrong? What could happen here? Okay, here's a base. Monthly defined breakout confirmed here. According to my chart trading framework, I would put my sell stop down here. Entry here and profit limit all the way up here. Then I would do my target considerations, see if I'd have to run through wall. A wall is previous resistance turn support or support turn resistance. Look, there's a little bit here. Here or here around these levels. This support that was broken down of and now has become resistance. And that whole zone and this is a thickness of the wall so it starts here so i have my price action now for next month if it doesn't pull back in if it doesn't go and retest uh, the breakout line sinks back in a little bit and i'm gonna have to run through this all here so around this level 71 level i might have uh, some resistance here more candles Maybe more for different pattern, giving me a bigger target. And I'm going to have some more resistance right here along the way at 74 levels. But right now, I'm out of this base and my target is really up here. It's not the prettiest of uh, targets that it doesn't have any resistance along the way. But you still have to recognize that you might have some congestion here, some pullbacks around these levels here. Maybe some uh, churning in between these levels here. So you got to expect that. And that target here is further away. And is least probable of being reached. But right now, that's the only target I have. You'd have to wait for more candles, see how it morphs, and um, adapt from there. So that's my target considerations. Expecting... Potential resistance will help you remove uh, the unknown. The unknown provokes fear, and too much fear, it's panic. And then you just land on emotional landmines all over the place. Selling when you shouldn't, buying when you shouldn't. You want to avoid that. So right now, all I could say is I have the wind going upwards. So when we put up our sales on the weekly candle chart, if we have a stage two for K, we know we have the, the backing of the uh, the monthly candle chart. All we have to do is just expect 71, 74. These are levels where... Oh, no, I'll do that. These are levels where you might have some pullbacks. All right. Let's go down to the weekly. Weekly, 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 weekly. What does this look like? 
Do, 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 do. Look at that. It was a nice stage two. When you're above the Ichimoku cloud, the green cloud, you're above the support. Stage two, stage three, price action starting to go down. Stage four, below the red cloud. And right now, stage one and potentially stage two. Let's check it out. Okay, this candle is above resistance, above the red cloud. So for the monthly defined resistance, we're above it. So we could remove that. That's not going to be a problem. 30 week average starting to go upwards. Here's my pattern, my breakout pattern. Could squish it, stretch it. Make sure you have black area all around it. Another emotion management uh, technique I use. Remember, if it looks here, uh, it's the top. And here, oh, that's a bottom. It could only go up. If you put it in the middle, well, you're a little freer to think that the price action could go back down, move sideways, move your margin. Like a canvas, guys. You don't want to be limited by what your charting so software presents to you. Move it around. Start imagining stuff. So what is this candle telling me? I like the volume. Is it a pattern, a breakout within a breakout? No, it's really just a burst. It's not above any horizontal breakout line, this candle here. It's just the accumulation. So what I can imagine for next week, maybe big candle, maybe something crescendo starting to build up and have a candle close above the 70, 73, 70, 38 level and remember that I told you about that 71 level where we might run into congestion that could be also a smart move to wait for hopefully that close of that weekly candle with that volume twice the average of the previous four weeks four or five weeks above the 71 level that would be awesome I'm actually going to put it a little higher here 71 if it goes 71 that means I busted through my monthly resistance level. Well, it's the close, right? So the weekly could have some energy going through it, but it has to close above the 71. So there's a couple of things. You already expect that something could happen here. That's what the clue, that's what 71 is telling me. So that's it telling me also do not enter right here. You might have a pullback here one week, two weeks, and then go back. So if ever there's a pullback, all you have to do is observe contracting volume. And after that, when it goes back up and starts picking up volume, you know that you're, uh, you're on the good side of that stage two. It's going to be solid. And I wouldn't mind seeing price action go up even more for another burst to make sure that 30-week average is starting to go up, but make sure it gets an even better angle to really make sure you have the trend in your favor, guys. RSI, not the Mansfield the Stan uses. It's going above halfway territory, going upwards. This is an early stage two, guys. Very constructive for K. We have the monthly um, breakout with potential resistance at 71. Slow down the price action here and eventually 74. So more slowing down of the price action. 74. Where are you? As identified on the we on the monthly. Uh, so these are potential levels where we're going to see a sideways move for a small consolidation and then bam another breakout guys so this type of uh what you could imagine breakout candle here of high volume either you enter there take half a position if your cell stop down here enter here and after that, expect that you'll have some congestion around 74 level, 71, maybe you'll pull back towards a 70 level, 71 on contracting volume, and then put another position when it backs back down and then explodes out. That's how I'm imagining it. Remember, these are weekly candles. 
So don't have to be pa as patient as with monthly, but still more patient daily. So if you're uh, if you want to find excuses not to jump in the trade and be selective, this is perfect for you. The setups here, that's how I, I see it playing out. If I'm in uh, visioning a stage two breakout, uh, anything else could happen. If uh, the price reverts and goes back all the way within the pattern, and then we'll be looking more at a stage uh, for a breakdown. Could happen right now where the signs is that stage two is in the works, guys. Let's go look back on the monthly. Yeah, definitely here. See that breakout was right here at this level. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I think the breakout was right here. Let's go back on the weekly. Yeah, so on the, that's the level where the monthly, see the monthly defined resistance. Also almost coinciding with the uh, Ichimoku cloud defined resistance. And I have that candle, man, you could almost say the breakouts here. There's a lot of signs that this was a key, key area where it broke out. Oof, I'm wondering if uh, this is not the stage two, if it's uh, the candle we should enter. If you enter here, sell stop below the below the low of the pattern, maybe up here. And after that, if there's a pullback close to the breakout line of 70, Uh, where do I have it? 67. Any pullbacks? You hit that 71 level, 74. From one to three months, usually you have the pullback. This is resistance. Price action code go. All right, let me clean that up. What did I say? 67, 50. That's a breakout level on the monthly. And after that, I had. 71, 71, 74, there's 74 level, 71. So anything that happens here bounces off that, tuck, tuck. And then after that bounce back down close to the 67, if it's on contracting volume, another occasion to add another position. Yeah, this could be it guys right here. If I respect the Ichimoku cloud, the defined resistance, this is a uh, stage two right now confirmed last week. It's crazy, guys. I look at charts. I do them. We look at them sometimes. I say, ah, Pat, not doing something's wrong. It's not a science, guys. We're humans. We're non-binary. We're emotional all over the place. Thinking in uh, circles, squares, uh, triangles, clouds. And tra your trading framework should be binary application. Am I in? Am I out? But it's not that. So it's really, uh, you have to try to conciliate both. And that's where your motion management techniques come in. Don't be afraid to redraw. Take a step back, relook at it until you uh, you figure it out, guys, when it makes sense. All right, K, stage two breakout now. By now, we're on the pullback on contracting volume. See ya. Ciao, guys. <laughs>